In this lecture, I'll talk about something called building blocks. Uh, we may have highlighted this in previous uh, initial tutorials, uh, but something that will save you a lot of time when working within uh, Word 2013. You really will become very, very productive. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at how to create building blocks. All the galleries in Word are stored known as building blocks, so you can create your own chunks or blocks of text, uh, tables, figures, images, anything, footers, headers and then save it as blocks so you can later reuse them. The whole idea is that so you don't have to repeat uh, the steps uh, over and again. And so for example, uh, this right here, let's take this as an example. Again, this is our uh, same document, uh, sample document, research proposal. For example, this is a, a, a table. Uh, and I know this because I see that there's rows and columns. Um, to really see what the table looks like, I can even insert the uh, rows. There are three rows, right, in one column. Okay, I'm going to undo this just for you now. So, for example, if I need to use this as a cover page and for any subsequent research proposals or your documents, your articles, your blog articles, your work, work related tasks, your company cover page, you like to save these settings, okay, so that you can better use them. Very easy to create building blocks, very, very helpful also. Uh, what you do is let me demonstrate this for you. For example, let's highlight this table that you want to create a building block for. So once you've highlighted this, we go up on our insert menu and in the text group we find something called quick parts. Okay. And in quick parts we save selection to quick parts gallery. Notice there's an option called building blocks organizer. The organizer allows you to see your existing blocks that you've created earlier. A lot of them are built in Word, but things that you create are also stored in the uh, blocks organizer. We'll come to this later uh, once you've uh, created your own building block. So again, the first step is to highlight the part that you like to create a building block for and then you simply say save selection to quick part gallery. Okay, so once you click on this, a new dialog box opens uh, which asks you for a name. Okay, the name of this new building block that you want to Keep. So I'm going to say cover page. Okay, well, understood. So I'm going to say research proposal. Okay, and I can store this in a gallery, pre-built galleries. And here's a cover page gallery. I can uh, keep it in there, or I can create my own gallery. Okay, once we go to the organizer, you'll see how we can create our own categories and galleries. All right, so in category, I can create a new category uh, right here, or I can choose either built-in or general. And so I'm going to just say pick one, or I can create a new category called Play Desk, the name of the company, right? So everything that I create for this particular company is stored in this uh, category. This is a cover page for a research proposal, okay? My next option is save in, so I can either save it in the building blocks.dotx template or the normal.m template. The normal is the default template. And recall the differences between the .m extension and the .x. In our earlier tutorials, I mentioned that, but just quickly, just to refresh, .m uh, contains a template that contains that contains macros, okay, and the .x are templates that do not contain any macros, okay? So that's the only difference between the two. So I'm going to store it in the normal default template so that I can reuse uh, the research proposal building block in any of my subsequent documents that I open. Once I've, I'm done with my options, I click OK, and Word saves the selection to the building block. Uh, let's see how we can access it. Let me open up a new document. So I hit Control N on my keyboard, right? It's a shortcut to create a new document. Go up to my insert menu once again and find my text group. On text group, quick parts, I go to my building blocks organizer. This is where I would be able to find my new building block that I created. The category I selected was obviously uh, uh, called playlist, so I can see it right here. Okay. So here's the category that I created the building gallery that I created in, the type of building block that I have, name, 
stored in the normal default template. And right now, uh, the behavior of this is such that it insert content only. Now, what this means is that this building block here is going to be, whenever I insert this block, it's going to insert as the regular content on the next line. And that's not really what I would like because this is a cover page. So I want this to be on its own separate page. So in order to do this, I need to go and edit properties. Same name, gallery, category, description, save in, and then my options, which is insert content only, as I mentioned earlier, insert content on its own paragraph or in its own page. So since it's a cover page, I want to choose this option. Just click OK. I could have done this earlier also, right? While creating a block, I could have done it. I think I must have skipped that step, the last part, okay? No big deal. You can always create it and, and I'll show you again, okay? So once you're done, uh, do you want to redefine the building block entry? Yes. So now I'm uh, pretty comfortable with my, with my block here. I guess this is it. Yes, that's the one. And it's going to now insert on its own page. So it depends on how you want to set this up, okay? All right. So once I'm done with this, I can either insert it and notice it inserts the building block for me. It's a very powerful way of creating building blocks in Word. You can insert a header, for example, here and then create a block, right? All you have to do is just go save a selection, save it. Tables, figures, text, you name it. The way to access it again is insert, duplicate part, and then building block organizer, and you'll see your, all your building blocks. To create a new building block. Um, so, for example, uh, let me switch to my earlier document here. Here's my document with text. If I need to create a building block of this particular paragraph, I highlight the paragraph, go to Quick Parts, save selection to Quick Part Gallery, give it a name, paragraph, spell right. Paragraph, okay. Save it in. Um, quick part gallery is fine. Category is general, or you can create a new category. I'm going to save it in general. Normal template. Ah, here's this, here's the option that I uh, skipped last time, right? Okay. Now this time, is I can define as this paragraph to be inserted as content only in its own paragraph or as a cover page. So I'm going to say its own paragraph, okay, and click OK. So once I'm done, I go to my next line here or anywhere and uh, see if I like to in in insert this building block. Okay, to do this, I have to make sure I'm in insert tab, quick parts, building block organizer. And let's see, where is my paragraph here? Uh, let's see if I can sort it in ascending order. And here it is. Okay. I notice in this case, it, if I expand this a little bit, it says insert content in its own paragraph. And I simply say insert and word inserts it for, for you. Okay. So a very powerful way of uh, using building blocks to save time and effort and a lot of the repetitive tasks are no longer required. Let's take a short phrase.